This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Sort and William Hill. Finally, I've found a time to speak to Matty Harris. Uh, other than that, mate, it's always a pleasure to see you. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm all good, mate. Uh, just loving being in Edinburgh, to be honest. Um, yeah. Turned up, ready to fight. 100%. You sort of were ready to fight. I mean, we were talking earlier in the hotel. You said you're ready to go, your third fight this year. Um, other than that, um, how sort of things been? How are you enjoying Edinburgh, being in Scotland? I said to you earlier, you know, you're fighting sort of every city, mate. You're ticking, ticking everyone, off, ticking on everyone off the off the list apart from Coventry. But other than that, uh, it must be a good feeling. Yeah, absolutely. Um, get to see, see a bit of the country, don't we? I'd never before I boxed in Newcastle. I don't think I'd ever been north of Manchester. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, get get to get about um, and boxing some good venues. So yeah, best job in the world. How important now is first fight this year, kicking on and keeping active. Really see someone in your position wants to be fighting sort of four, five, six times a year. You're on course to do that. So how important is it for you that you're getting out there and you're getting active? Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, I love it. I love fighting. Um, it's what I chose to do for a living. And um, it helps with my progression. Obviously, I'm still very young. Uh, 23, I've got a lot of developing to do. So fighting regularly is in my best interest. So yeah, uh, what's I'm gonna do? Getting me out. So gotta be grateful. Another thing I wanted to say, especially with you, it's like a lot of you guys, you're fighting them, you're sort of knocking them out in the first round. Sometimes like that, you don't. You, I mean, the only thing you learn for that is that you hit hard. You don't really learn much in terms of opponents you're facing. You're fighting a game opponent on Saturday. You went the distance with a Talma. Um, how much do you think you can learn from these guys that are sort of going to be tough and they're going to be sort of very hard to break down? Yeah, um, not very. The, the guy I knocked out in my second fight, I was the only guy to stop him and I've still been the only guy to stop him and he's boxed some good prospects that have come off GB. So I don't know why it's being made a fuss out of this one guy. It's, it's just a fight at the end of the day, you know what I mean? It's, it's not the first time I would have knocked out someone that was, hadn't been stopped before. And it won't be the last. So I'm looking forward to going in there, uh, getting the job done and carrying on. This is like the icing on the cake for me, these fight weeks. I, spend, I literally I live in the gym year round, so it's nice, um, obviously, when you get your fight announcements and to know when you're fighting. So you can start to home in a little bit. But yeah, um, it, to me, it's just work. But also, is it also important in your career how much you learn from aspiring the guys that you've been in with, guys at like AJ, so many good sort of rounds you shared with, picking their brains. That must be a good feeling as well in, in terms of learning in your development. Yeah, absolutely. Um, straight after my fight, I'm off to a, uh, for some got some more sparring. I'll tell you about it after. It's, it's good. It's good. Um, but yeah, be, being around these genuine world class, world level guys, and. Um, being able to stay competitive with them it, it is amazing. So, it, and it gives me that experience that I wouldn't ordinarily get through fights. Um, so yeah, I love it. It's great for me. Um, and yeah, I, I always, I, I said, I said it twice. Um, I got the best job in the world. I absolutely love my job. Uh, I get to fight people and put people in the face for a living. So yeah. I know when we always talk about future opponents, your sort of game, and you'd fight anyone. But there's also coming up, we said that the heavyweights are in the best sort of shape that they possibly could be right now domestically. You being a part of that, being at the top of that, I'm sure you sort of, when it comes to the time where there's titles to fight for, it must be big when the narratives are already getting built already for big fights in the future. Yeah, um, that's great. As a, but I'm never really... To me, as I said, with this whole boxing stuff, not, none of it's personal. You know what I mean? It's just business. If... if Fighting them guys, there's maybe one or two guys I actually do want to fight, just because I don't like them. But um, we'll get there at some point. But even then, it's just it's part of my job. I, I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. And, and what a great job where if you don't get on with someone, you get paid to punch them in the face for money. That's what other jobs in the world let you do that. So 
Yeah, it's um, it's great to be building narratives and and whatnot for obviously bigger future fights, and it's all about getting your name out there and building your brand, etc., etc. But I'm not really, so I'm not really interested in any of that. I just want to fight. <laughs> You just mentioned one or two names there. Do I care to ask who they could be, or is it something I have to ask you after Friday? Um, I'll tell you when I want to tell you, bro. <laughs> no, I'll hold you to that, I'll hold you to that. Matty Harris, thank you for always taking the time to speak to me. It's always a pleasure to see you on Fight Week. Always a pleasure to catch up with you, and uh, all the best for Friday. I'm sure we'll be catching up after. Thank you, mate. Cheers.